And you can have two different kinds of urgency. You can have worst case scenario, which is like, if we don't fix it, this thing, this is all the horrible stuff that could happen. Mm -hmm. Or opportunity scenario, it can also be urgency. So we think about our friends in sales functions. They don't want to hear about worst case scenarios. Yeah, Folks yeah, in sales really want to hear about happy stuff. Yeah. Right? But that can be an urgency too. You say, hey, look, if we move now, we can get all these new customers that we couldn't have gotten before because the world's different. It's changed. Yeah. And so even as we're thinking about COVID world, I mean, urgency can be a really good, helpful tool for us because everyone has to adjust and adapt. Yeah. And even as we move back into normal, whenever that becomes the time, six months, 12 months, 18 months, whatever that is, no one really knows. It's, it's always going to have some difference. There's always going to be some element of making sure that we're, we're, we're better prepared and urgency can help us get there. Yeah. So uh, like I said, I mean, it can be a good thing. We just have to manage and make sure there's not too much of it. So do you have any other questions for me I've, about urgency? I have questions. I do have questions, which I feel like is going to tie a little bit back into the trust formula that okay. we have. Um, but I was curious, some of the notes that I kind of jotted down is how do you know if you're using enough hot sauce? It's a very good question. So part, again, I love the analogy of hot sauce because it, it works in so many ways. And part of the reason, so if you're not seeing me right now, if you're looking at the video, you can see I'm holding one of those little mini Tabasco bottles, the kind like you'd see in like hotels. Like if you ever, back when we, there were buffets. Um, huh, when you would go yes. through and, and, you know, particularly in the morning, you'd see those little tiny, they're like an inch and a half tall Tabasco bottles. Uh, and when I do workshops on urgency, I always um, buy these things in bulk and give everyone one because a reminder of this is urgency. Because this is a great analogy because for some people, they like me, I love hot sauce, but a couple drops and I am drenched in sweat. Okay, it doesn't take much. Other people might need like three or four of these bottles to get them moving. Yeah. So you have to kind of know your people and know your organization. So you mm. kind of know how much is the right amount. That's good. Um, in a perfect world, urgency is there just to set up action. So it's, you're just creating enough discomfort. So you're not, you know, like if you're having a conversation with somebody, it's not 100% urgency. It's not 100% hot sauce. It's only really supposed to be 10% hot sauce, 90% action plan. So you're just trying to create the right amount of hot sauce. So knowing your people can, can say, you can tell you how much heat do you need to put on? Do you need to say, mm. gosh, we really need to have this done by next month. Or do you need to say, if you aren't able to achieve, get this done by next month, we might need to find another home for you. Those are two different okay. kinds of, that's, you know, that's Frank's hot sauce compared to like, you know, ghost pepper, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're going to get mm -hmm. fired if you don't get this done. Or this is just something nice for us to get done. Yeah. So, so you know, you got to know your people. You got to know the situation. Um, when in doubt, start with Frank's red hot sauce uh, or, or uh, some other version of a lighter hot sauce. I think that's my favorite. Does that say something about me? Well, well no, it's, 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 you start I there. Maybe you favorite. don't need much. And then you go, you go, you can go Frank's and there's like there's Louisiana and then you move up to Tabasco and you can go to the ghost peppers. And yeah. so just start mild, move to medium and then ultimately to hot. And you just got to kind of see what people can, can handle. Yeah. Uh, but the key is, if it's not working, mild, turn up the heat. Go to something more medium and then go to hot. Because remember, part of our job as managers and leaders is we're trying to drive clarity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So we want to make sure they clearly understand that this is important. So if they're, if, they're, if it's not hot enough, we need to keep increasing the heat. But don't jump into ghost pepper. You know, you don't need to be yeah. freaking people out. Some people like me would just, you know, ghost pepper. I'm just, I'm in a ball on the floor. Yeah. Just sweat, just dripping in sweat. That's not going to help me move forward. I'm not a ghost pepper kind of lady. Yeah. So, so start, start with mild and then move to medium and then move to hot. Yeah. And that's just kind of how you message it. But it's all about, it's all about timing and then what's going to happen at that time. Yeah. Right. We have until this period of time and then this is why it needs to get done by that point. Okay. Okay.